I'm here right now on the campus of Ohio Wesleyan University. This is a Methodist, traditionally Methodist university in Delaware, Ohio, which is just north of Columbus. Um, Ohio Wesleyan University is a, is a nice mix of the liberal arts and uh, business and pre-professional education. Uh, about 2,000 students, so it's a, right, a very nice, intimate little campus. Ohio Wesleyan has a reputation of being a party school. And uh, it's true that it has a very um, important fraternity and sorority uh, program, a Greek life here. Um, and the administration is uh, often trying to rein the Greek system in and make sure that the uh, alcohol use is under control. But um, I think it would be unfair to say that Ohio Wesleyan is a party school. I think pretty much every campus in America is a party school in one way or another. There are some that are much less, um, where alcohol plays a much, uh, uh, a, mi a relatively minor role, but really any campus is going to have alcohol available. So for the student who makes good choices, I think that's what we have to think about when we're thinking about party schools is are students prepared and able to make good choices once they arrive on a college campus. Now, if a student is you know, unable to make those choices and, and is turned loose, shall we say, on a campus, whether it's Ohio Wesleyan or any other university campus in America, yes, they're going to make some bad choices and um, end up getting fined and maybe put on probation as, as Ohio Wesleyan sometimes does. But really, um, if you make good choices, if you remember that college is about your education and not just about partying, then you're going to get a great education in a place like Ohio Wesleyan. The opportunities are terrific. There are uh, small class sizes, really good relationships with, with professors. The opportunities are here, but the opportunities also are here for getting into trouble. So that's really the case at any college campus. Um, as you're making choices about which school, yes, you can decide whether you want the Greek system or whether you don't want the Greek system, but what you really need to decide is how are you going to stay on track academically and achieve your goals educationally so that that will, will propel you into your future.